Bhoga Mada, infatuation of wealth. I think it's a very simple thing. When you have lots of wealth, lots of uh, money, uh, you can become intoxicated comparing to other people. But what did the Buddha say about wealth? Did the Buddha ask lay people to be happy when they have wealth? Yes. In one sutta, Buddha talks about four types of happiness for everyone. Atti Sukha, Boga Sukha, Anana Sukha, Anavajja Sukha. Four happiness types. First one is Atti Sukha. When you have wealth, money, comforts, be happy that you have them. Are there people who have lots of things but they are not happy about it? Because they don't validate that they have the stuff with them. When you have things, acknowledge that you have them with you. And the next happiness is Bhoga Sukha. When even you have the money, you have the wealth, but you may not be able to use them. Then you are losing that happiness. Sometimes you may have lots of comforts, you may have a lot of things, but you don't have time to enjoy those things. Why? You are that so busy. You are not making time to enjoy the comfort. The Buddha said, then, then you are not creating that happiness. You have a couple beds in your house, but you are not able to sleep in one of the beds. Lame example. <laughs> if you have a couple uh, cars, Vehicles, but you are not able to use one of the good cars to go somewhere. You have lots of food in the fridge, but you don't think that you are eating them properly. You are wasting them, or you are throwing away. You are not able to uh, eat them before they expire. And you have a good family, you have your spouse, husband, wife, children, but you don't make time to enjoy time with them. You don't make time. You let the time control you. You have to make time, otherwise time will not help you to be with them. So you are losing what you have. The Buddha said, even though you have wealth, comforts, the next happiness will not come to you automatically. You must be able to make it. That means use it, use them, use the stuff. The third happiness is Anana Sukha. Anana means when you feel that you are not having any, uh, what do you call any debt to somebody then you are happy but nowadays we all are kind of having loans to the other things if you have a credit card yes then you have a certain amount of uh, credit from the bank right? the bank is happy that uh, you are not paying back the full amount you say just pay the minimal amount you know. that's okay that's if the people are not conscious that when you are not paying the minimal amount for many months, then it creates lots of interest. But we understand the credit card culture. It is, a, it is not our money. It's the bank money. But we know how to pay them before the deadline. And uh, normally in our life, we are not going to use things of other people. We're going to be independent. And we are not taking from other people. That is also a happiness. We call it Anana Sukha. The fourth happiness is Anavajja. Anavajja means happiness that comes to you when you think about what you have earned in right ways, ethical ways. When you think about you have lots of money, yeah, these are black money, money laundering, and you have commission unethically. You have dealt with people in wrong ways, but you have money. At the end of the day, when you look back at that money, you feel not happy. You don't have that happiness. It is called Anavajja Sukha. Now, going back for the Bhoga, this is a happiness. Atti Sukha, Bhoga Sukha, Bhoga. But just because you can be happy with whatever you have, don't become intoxicated. Just appreciate yourself, continue your journey without becoming intoxicated. There may be other ways to understand this. Somebody might say, hey, when I go shopping, I don't look at the price tags, you know, I just buy, you know. <laughs> Only I see at the checkout. Okay. Ah, okay. 
But for some people, okay, I had to see the price tag based on my income. I had to look at the price tag and then to buy the stuff. Right? We are trying to make that kind of a very, uh, con what do you call, conceited, haughty replies to your friends. I'm not looking at the price tags. But rather you simply understand other people cannot afford to buy these things. Simply be appreciative about their income. Many ways to look at these things. Huh? I just go by uh, normal examples. 